welcome to another edition of Mumbai Metro Line 3, Connecting the Unconnected. The overpacked local trains put huge stress on people living in the city. Mumbai Metro will bring significant change in the way city commutes. The 33.5 km long underground corridor with 26 stations running along the Kulaba Banra Seeps will connect the crowded western suburbs and the airport to South Mumbai. It will certainly help decongest the traffic situation in this area. In the last edition, we learned how the tunneling work is progressing with the help of a TBM machines to make path for metro train to run. And in this edition, we would understand how stations are being constructed, where these trains will halt and people will catch their respective trains. Metro Line 3, consisting of 26 underground stations, is Mumbai's biggest and most challenging infrastructure project till date. The tunneling and station construction works for Metro Line 3 are proceeding simultaneously in the whole corridor. The major challenges faced are congestion and lack of space. In some places, buildings had to be brought down to facilitate the construction of stations. The underground stations are being constructed using cut and cover method and cut and cover in combination with NATM. Cut and cover is a traditional method of station construction where a big box is excavated and station is built with all structures and facilities inside. Cut and cover excavation can be executed in two ways. One is bottom up and the other is top down. Bottom up method is a traditional method of excavation where secant piles wall or a diaphragm wall is first constructed on the perimeter of station box. The ground is excavated till the bottom and then construction starts from bottom to top. First, base slab is constructed. Then vertical walls are erected and floor slabs are built upwards to the ground. Finally, backfilling is carried out on the surface and road and other facilities are restored over the complete structure. Top-down is just opposite to bottom-up method. In Mumbai Metro Line 3, we are using bottom-up technology. Cut and cover is more simple and open up the stations, construct the, uh, the structures layer by layer. Top-down is more complex to do it on the ground, but we take it uh, from the top towards the bottom. Because Mumbai, the underground soil is rock, so when you do the rock excavation in a confined space, it would increase the difficulties uh, for the excavation work. Underground stations are also constructed adopting cut and cover in combination with NATM. The full form of NATM is New Austrian Tunneling Method. It is primarily a mining method used for tunneling and associated works of underground stations. Let us understand how NATM is used in station construction. Dense and congested urban areas with little or no scope for adopting full-scale cut and cover, NATM plays important role in completing station construction. NATM is used after building TBM tunnels for widening the tunnel built by TBM to create platforms, making cross passage between two platforms and TBM tunnels, and creating crossovers and stabling line. We use this technique for widening of the tunnel for creating platforms. We use this technique for uh, creating circulation area for the station and also for creating space, underground space for the backup rooms. Initially, in this methodology, the earth is excavated and a primary lining of concrete, steel girders, wire mesh and rock bolts are applied for stabilization of soil. Out of 26 stations, 7 stations are using combination of cut and cover and natum to complete the station construction work. NATM would complete the entire connection between the tunnel, platform and the main station box. Hutatma Chowk, 
कालबा देवी गिर गांव ग्रांट रोड शीतला देवी सेंटा क्रूज मेट्रो एंड मरोल नागा आर द सेवन स्टेशन दैट आर यूजिंग एन ई टी एम टू कंप्लीट दर स्टेशन स्ट्रक्चर सी एस एम टी आचार्य आत्रे चौक एंड सहार रोड स्टेशन आर यूजिंग एन ई टी एम टू बिल्ड क्रॉस ओवर ट्रैक एम एम आर सी एल इज यूजिंग एन ई टी एम वेर एवर अ थर्ड और साइडिंग लाइन इज टू बी बिल्ड and also where narrow station spaces do not have room for a tbm shaft this whole process of a station construction is so captivating it seems like a whole new world is being constructed under the ground now let's move towards package 3 and understand what all stations are coming up in this package package 3 has five cut and cover stations mumbai central metro mahalakshmi metro साइंस म्यूजियम आचार्य आत्रे चौक एंड वर्ली मेट्रो स्टेशन टोटल लेंथ ऑफ दिस पैकेज इज थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी फाइव मीटर द लॉन्चिंग शाफ्ट और स्टेशन फॉर दिस पैकेज इज लोकेटेड एट साइंस म्यूजियम वेर टू टी बी एम्स टैंसर वन एंड टैंसर टू हैव बीन लॉन्च फ्रॉम नॉर्थ एंड टूवर्ड्स वर्ली स्टेशन As on 25th May 2019, Tanza 1 has completed 625 meters and Tanza 2 has completed 480 meters of tunneling. On their first drive, both TBMs will cover approximately 2100 meters up to Worli Metro Station. Then both TBMs will be relaunched from south end of Science Museum Metro Station towards Mumbai Central Metro Station. Package 3 has challenges of rehabilitation and resettlement of project affected people, uncharted utilities, especially a trunk of Mahanagar gas and sewage line and dilapidated buildings near station site. At the onset of project, the major challenge faced was to make the land available to contractor apart from taking over the race course land evacuation of slum at jacob circle science museum and municipal chawl near acharya atre chowk were difficult tasks that were undertaken by mmrcl with the help of other government agencies 13 families from mahalakshmi and 37 from acharya atre chowk were rehabilitated 15 commercial structures from rakhangi chowk were also demolished for station entry and exit at science museum all the packages are facing some or the other challenges package 3 is no exception rehabilitation and resettlement of project affected people utilities dilapidated buildings near excavation site these all made the execution difficult utilities that posed severe challenges include a british era sewer of 2 meter diameter at mumbai central a major storm water drain at science museum and most sensitive high pressure mahanagar gas pipeline that was diverted in running condition apart from these water lines and storm water drain were either supported or diverted and web of cables that includes telephone lines power lines were also supported package 3 also has to deal with wrecked building that was declared dilapidated and dangerous that necessitated shifting of residents to alternate accommodation the new and redevelopment projects adjacent to the station box require interface with developers to keep development on both sides in safe conditions Most of these challenges have been overcome and work is progressing in good pace. Let us have a look at what all places these five stations will connect and how the life of people living or traveling around these areas would change. Mumbai Central Metro Station is located adjacent to the Mumbai Central Station that is a Western Railway Divisional Headquarters. The metro station will be an interchange between MSRTC bus station, regional railway terminal and suburban station. This station will give easy access to some of important places like Maratha Mandir, Reserve Bank of India, YMCA, Industrial Training Institute 
नायर हॉस्पिटल एंड डेंटल कॉलेज Mahalakshmi Metro Station is located near Jacob Circle which once was a busy industrial district and hub of many textile mills like Broadway Mills, Modern Mills and Shakti Mills. At present these mills lands have been redeveloped into high-rise residential towers and office buildings. Consequently the demand for public transport has escalated. The proposed Mahalakshmi metro station would cater to people living and travelling to this area. Also with existing monorail station and suburban railway station, Mahalakshmi metro will form a multimodal transit hub. Other major landmarks that would be in the vicinity of this metro station include Dhobi Ghat, Arthur Road Central Jail etc. Science Museum Metro Station is planned at the entry gate to Nehru Science Centre. The nearest suburban railway stations are Lower Parel in the north and Mahalakshmi in the south. And there is a need of integrating the suburban stations to the metro station for better commute. The station is located very close to important destinations like High Street Phoenix Mall, and several redeveloped mill lands on Senapati Babad Mark. Acharya Atre Chowk Station is located at the junction of Dr. E. Moses Road, Dr. Annie Besant Road, GM Mark, and Ganpat Rao Kadam Mark. The junction is famously known as Varli Naga. The BDD Chawls, recently taken up for redevelopment by state government, are in close proximity to this station. Places like MCGM Engineering Hub, Poonam Chambers, ESIS Hospital, Bodar Medical College and Hospital and Nehru Planetarium can be easily accessed from proposed metro station. Warli is a predominantly residential locality away from suburban railway and lacks critical connectivity to public transport network. Warli Metro Station is located near Sasmira, the Textile Research Institute, and several corporate office buildings and institutes like Aditya Birla Center, Siemens Limited, RPG House, GlaxoSmithKline, Doordarshan Kendra, and Kamla Mill compounds on the eastern side, and residential colonies and apartments along Warli Sea Face on the western side. The station area is witnessing massive redevelopment on the old mill lands and residential colonies. Package 3 of Line 3 looks quite challenging but at the same time quite rewarding for the commuters. Now let's move towards other important events and activities that took place in this line in the last couple of months. <music> MMRCL contributes its paper on geotechnical challenges in design and construction of tunnels for Mumbai Metro Line 3 at the World Tunnel Congress in Naples, Italy, an apex congregation of global tunneling professionals. A delegation comprising of Managing Director Ashwini Bhire, Director Projects SK Gupta, represented MMRCL at this Congress. MMRCL is fully geared up to face ensuing monsoon. All the contractors have undertaken pre-monsoon measures and are ready for monsoon period based on joint site inspections with MCGM's engineers at all the Metro 3 construction sites. Activities such as cleaning of storm water drains and construction of catch pits are completed to ensure smooth flow of water. At the same time, Activities for smooth movement of traffic such as repainting of diversion signage to enhance visibility of barricades are also being taken up in the influence area of construction sites. MMRCL witnessed 13th breakthrough at Vidhan Bhavan Metro Station. TBM Surya 2 started its tunneling work from Kaf Parade and completed 1.24 kilometers of tunneling. Surya 2 took 205 days to complete this tunnel. With this, 
Package 1 has completed a total of 2.4 kilometers out of 5.89 kilometers of tunneling. Cross passage construction work using NATM has begun at Marul Naka station. NATM is being used to widen the tunnel completed by TBM to be station platform. This 230 meter long Marul Naka station will have 16 cross passages that will be constructed connecting station box to the platform. Out of these, 12 cross passages will be used for public access and 4 for other services. MMRCL has started the challenging task of 170 meter long tunneling 22 meter below the Beatty River for BKC station. Metro Line 3 would be the second metro in the country to have tunnels under the riverbed after Hooghly River in Kolkata. Socrates once said, the secret of change is to focus all of your energy not on fighting the old but on building the new. And yes, MMRCL has put all its efforts and energy in creating a world-class, contemporary and comfortable commuting system that will transform the whole experience of travelling for Mumbai cars. That's all for today. See you in the next episode with more information about Metro Line 3. Goodbye and take care.